What's up guys, Sonoran here. This is gonna be a quick little video for my buddy St. Louis Ray Edwards. He's having a contest and it's pretty simple. He just wants to see something that you collect. Well Ray, here's what I collect. I like to collect beer steins, copper, brass, shit like that. I'll do a quick little review and show you how awesome these things are. These things in my opinion are like works of art. I like to collect beer steins that are either military related or bar related. Cause uh, I like to have a few beers, you know what I'm saying? But uh, check them out, man. You know, here we go. We got American history, German steins. Check out these behemoths. These bad boys. I love these things, man. I picked them up at an antique fair, and they're just huge. As you can see, I got a beer can down there for reference, size reference. And look at that. Crazy, right? Check out this still. This is from Peru. I just love the copper work on this. It's an actual working still. <laughs> well, that's what they told me. I don't know if it works. We're not allowed to do that here, right? But uh, pretty cool. And you got your still here, and you got your thumper bucket over there. Uh, another beer, uh, beer scene. You know, you got some soldiers in a bar just having a good time. That's what I love about these things. Like I said, they're works of art. Check them out, man. These are just so cool. Here's another one. I would love to have a beer stein like this, you know, right? with a B&E Beer Reviews bar scene right there. Boom. That would be awesome and epic. Can't wait till that issue comes out. <laughs> Here's some other cool shit. Uh, as you can see, you got some people just hanging out, having a good time in a bar. Um, some of them are you know, old and it's just, just really cool. Check out this old uh, fight scene. Man, I love fight scenes on uh, Steins. As I was saying, here's one of my favorite Steins. Check this scene out, man. Just look at that thing. You got these guys fighting, you got dead guys down, you got the horses popping out of this beast, you got other guys down, check this out man, it's just so cool, that's why I love these things and I say that they're works of art. Just look how in depth, you know, you got houses in the background, you got farmers, got red coats, just crazy, right? Drummer boy, down, you know, pretty awesome. This thing is a beast, it's one of my favorites, it's not my favorite, my favorite is, um, let me show you now, whoa. Sorry, lost concentration for a minute. Better move her out of the way. I don't even know how she got down here. But as you can see, this is one that's my favorite right here. Um, my wife did this one for me. She made this and she did an amazing job. Made it very patriotic. She got her founding fathers on there. She knows how much patriotic I am. And, uh, you know, she just did an amazing job on this thing. Just amazing. So there's my beer signs. And another thing I like to collect is uh, copper and brass. The reason I like to collect the copper, this stuff is all done by hand. Somebody sat there with a hammer and a chisel and they made these things. Just check these, I just love those things. That's why I like to collect them. Look at this little keg, man. This thing is beast. It's like copper, I mean, uh, um, plated with like, uh, I don't know what the hell that is, nickel or whatever it is, but that's just an awesome keg right there. And you got these old tea things. Sorry about the lighting. This thing, these are just so cool. I think they're so beautiful, it's just awesome. That's why I collect things like that. And I got a few more uh, big old urns up there. The tea urns, you know, they're like Russian, etc. cetera. Uh, big old copper plate, look at the size of this thing. Uh, my dad bought this, brought this back from Turkey when we went over there when he was in the military. Just like to like collect shit like that, man. Big old brass clock, this thing's a beast. I love stuff like that. I just, you know, like, I don't know. They're kind of like a, reminds me of like a mansion where the freaking vampires are, right? Because, you know, I love vampires and zombies. Just a little size comparison there. Just beasts. Got a few more I'll show you really quick. So as you can see, we're in the kitchen. Here's the rest part of my copper collection. Some more. As you can see, man, I just love copper. This is works of art. When you got somebody that sat there with a hammer and just pounded this stuff out, I just think that's amazing, man. Check this stuff out. This is some of this, like in the two right there on the right. They're really in detail. They're just amazing. I'm not gonna pull them down, but I just wanted to show you really quick my collection for your little contest, which is really cool. And we'll go around here really quick. Boom. And I got some more up there on top of the cabinets. And let me show you this really quick. This is this copper plate, man. I love this copper. I love copper. This thing is like 48 inches wide. It's just ginormous, man. As you can see. You got the whole front of my kitchen right there. And one of the last things that I enjoy is this bad boy. This is like Egyptian. I've never seen anything like it, man. 
when I saw it, I was like, fuck, I gotta have that. That thing is cool. Just check it out. The detail on this thing, just amazing. All hand carved. Look at, that's, dude, that's all hand carved. Just some guy sat there and just pounded away at metal. And this stuff isn't very expensive because uh, people don't appreciate, you know, copper and metal work, et cetera, like that. But I do. And uh, makes me happy. So look at the size of this thing. It's like freaking heavy. Copper keeps going up. I'm just going to melt it down and sell it. <laughs> Anyways, man, congrats. Uh, thanks for doing this contest. Pretty cool. And I uh, hope you like my entry and you enjoyed, buddy. And uh, I appreciate you being a member of the FART team. Maybe one day I will join the FART.